My name is Jean Wathome. I've been involved with Beacon of Hope since its inception and it was founded on a mission and a vision that God put upon my heart. When I was in Bible school, I did a master's in counseling and theology with a very much focus on HIV and AIDS because I was very involved in the work of uh, women ministry in my local church. And around that time, issues of HIV and AIDS were, had become a crisis in Kenya. And a lot of those women who were affected and affected by HIV and AIDS, as well as so much poverty, were the women who were um, not very educated, who didn't have economic opportunities. And the Lord just challenged me to step out of my comfort zone and come into the community and begin to work alongside them, to give them a hope and uh, to speak hope into their lives but in a very practical way. And hence, in 2002, uh, Beacon of Hope was born, um, and it began by economically empowering the women to give them an alternative lifestyle. But as you help a woman, she comes with her entire family. And how does that family look like? The family is a little baby and, and a teenager. And that's how Beacon started, with a mother, 25 women, and 15 children, and a lot of young people. And sort of like that started shaping how Beacon of Hope looks today. It is that woman who needed to be economically empowered. And as a result, as she worked and as we trained her, we started a crash. So, but we realized that with these young children that were in the, in, in, in the crash, one of the things that was going to transform the next generation was education. Because as early as seven years, some of these children were already involved in prostitution as a way of earning a livelihood to bring back money to their parents. And we really needed to change that. The youth in this same family, a lot of them were involved in crime. And again, we realized that even for the older children, we needed to introduce education. And that's how even education that we, as it is today, the school that we have today began. Welcome to the magical world of children right here at Beacon of Hope. I'm sure each and every one of us remembers moments of childhood that we really enjoyed. If I asked you to pause for a moment now and go back to those early years, I'm sure your senses will come alive and you will feel like you are reliving your childhood moments again. To make every moment magical for the children and to ensure that every moment our children are in school, their experiences are rich and meaningful. Welcome to Beacon of Hope Kindergarten, a beautiful place for the children and actually a home away from home. Our desire is that when children come to Beacon of Hope, they have happy childhood experiences that bring out the best of who they are. Our program is inclusive and founded on our belief in Christian values and education. All children, including those with different learning needs, are supported to thrive to the best of their abilities. We are cognizant of the diverse backgrounds that our children come from, and thus our program is designed to allow holistic development for each child. Our day-to-day -day activities include play and fun that motivate children to enjoy learning. We follow the national curriculum, which is competence-based, where children are involved in practical activities that help them to acquire skills and values that enable them to integrate well with others and the society at large. Welcome to Beacon of Hope Academy. My name is Wilson Kimadi. I am the head teacher. Our school motto is empower to excel for God's glory. At Beacon of Hope Academy, we provide high quality education that is geared towards uh, development of a holistic child. Our commitment to strong Christian morals and values uh, keeps us uh, vibrant and focused. We are committed to provide uh, education that is not only uh, targeting to produce a child who is academically empowered, but also a child who is uh, confident, creative, uh, socially and uh, emotionally empowered to cope with the different challenges in the society. In addition, we believe that all work without play makes our learners dull. And so we have a wide range of co-curricular activities that we engage our learners in. We have uh, sporting activities including indoor and outdoor games. We have clubs like journalism clubs, debate clubs, we also have societies like a scouting movement. We have wildlife and also music practical. 
where we train them how to play various music uh, instruments. We offer 844 curriculum as well as the new Kenyan curriculum, uh, which is the CBC. Uh, which stands for competence-based curriculum. The mission of the CBC curriculum is to nurture every learner's potential through learning areas that are practical in nature and that are set up in a way that they will uh, promote development of talents and competencies in every learner. We endeavor to provide an environment that uh, will enable learners grow their talents as they seek to become uh, important people in the, in, their com in the coming years. My name is Julia Maniki here, and I'd like to talk about some of the likes in CBC. One of the likes in CBC is that we learn to improvise, we read good stories, more work is based on talents, using digital devices as learning tools. In CBC, lessons have been added, but still we are able to handle. Children also get enough time to play at break time, and also CBC encourages the outdoor activities. It nurtures talents and abilities. My name is Mr. Samuel Masika. I am the principal of Beacon uh, Technical Training Institute. Beacon Technical Training Institute prides itself in training students in catering and accommodation, and that is hospitality programs. We have the largest department and the best facility ICT is a key skill in the current world and we ensure that all our students are exposed to ICT related skills. We also have uh, the fashion and design department where we train students to make outfits and trending uh, clothing for people out here. We also have the building and construction department where we ensure that we do the best plumbers, we do the best uh, masters that are going to fit in the current world. We also have the hairdressing and beauty department. We also have the electrical department where students are being trained on electrical and elect electrical related uh, prog programs and electronics and including research and innovations in, the, in that department. Econ has trained over 5,000 young people, equipped them with uh, vocational skills. Our mission is to ensure that uh, young people are able to be exposed to world-class skills and also excellence and also rewarding careers. Beacon Technical Training Institute is unique in the sense that uh, we ensure that all our trainees are given market-oriented skills. We also ensure that after the training, all these young people are attached to industrial players that are relevant to the courses of their training. Once they are there, we also request those uh, industrial uh, players to retain them. Another thing that makes uh, Beacon Technical unique is the peer mentorship program where young people are attached to other young people who are doing well in their, for, in their choice technical training and then they are just able to sharpen each other uh, around. We also have uh, a session that we call transformational skills. This is where we train because most of our students, some of them, maybe they are sponsored or they have come in from informal settlements where there are a lot of uh, immorality and maybe lack of ethics. We also do entrepreneurship training. We make it compulsory. Our desire is for them to become enterprising as individuals. Also our trainers, we give them opportunities to go out and for exposure trips so that they are able to train uh, young people in line with the skills that are prevailing out there in the market. My name is Tracy Kageha Okombo. I was a student at Beacon Technical College. I pursued food and beverage production, the artisan level, and I joined Bacon in January 2018 and I graduated in November 2020. What is unique about Bacon College is that it's committed to scholarly excellence and people nurture their spirits here. It's a Christian-based organization and it also gives people the mentorship program. The skills that I acquired from Bacon is leadership skills because I was in the student body. I also acquired the uh, some various facts like humbleness, humility, that people don't know the world is harsh out there. You just need some tolerance for you to achieve it. Also, I have worked with the Smith Hotels. I have worked with the Maridadi events, which just gave me a platform to be the person I am today. Thank you, Bacon, for believing in me and for caring for me and transforming my life. I am because you are. I'm Evelina Chuka, Kapoe. I'm a student here at Beacon of Hope Vocational and Training Institute. I'm the first born in a family of 10. What made me to choose Beacon of Hope College is that we are being given quality education. Environment is very cool and conducive for learning. What is unique about Beacon is that Beacon is nurturing people in terms of uh, 
a spiritual matter. I'm looking forward to completing successfully and I know I will. My name is Kipiegon Kelvin Kipchirchir. In my family, we are four of us. Being the firstborn, I'm in Beacon Technical Training Institute undertaking uh, building and construction, option plumbing, craft plumbing. Why I chose uh, plumbing uh, is because I want to create a positive impact to the society and furthermore, we have few plumbers in this uh, nation. The uniqueness about Beacon is, first, it's a Christian-based institution. Second, we have uh, qualified trainers. Third, they offer us uh, attachments and jobs after you finish your schools. We want to create lifelong memories, but also ensure that the children are fully stimulated, giving them the best opportunities and hence allowing them to thrive. We seek your support in upgrading what we are calling learning centers for the children. Having done our benchmarking, as well as assessing the needs of the new national curriculum, which is a purely interactive curriculum, we felt it necessary to revamp the learning centers. We will refine both the indoor as well as the outdoor learning spaces. Through your support, we will achieve the upgrade of the following learning centers at both the kindergarten and primary school. At the kindergarten, we propose to create an indoor play center where children will have a variety of free choice activities, including puzzles, soft toys, and other manipulatives to help them develop their executive function. Introduce a well-defined reading scheme to allow children to have great literacy experiences, preparing them for their primary school years. Uplift the classrooms so that all classrooms are standardized and have a very child-friendly outlook to include play mats, reading corners, among others, and this will allow for more discovery learning. Enhance outdoor play spaces like corridors and walls so that children can freely interact and do not have to be confined to learning indoors only. Level and renovate the outdoor playground. There is need to improve on the quality and safety of the outdoor playground. At the primary school, we seek support in upgrading three main learning centers as the first phase of this project. Upgrade of the music center by purchasing musical instruments to enhance the music program. Renovation of the current library by upgrading of the books and equipment as well as teacher resources so that it can meet the needs of a modern curriculum. And lastly, the upgrade of the computer center so that it can also include aspects of tech that will allow for coding activities, robotics, and generally allow children to have a richer experience with technology. Because we believe in excellence as a standard, we are intentional about supporting the teachers with continuous professional development. Upon the relaunch of our new kindergarten and primary school learning spaces, we hope to invite teachers from other schools to learn from what we are doing. Beacon of Hope is also seeking strategic partnerships to be a national training center for both early years and primary years. Thank you so much for all the support you have given us thus far. We want to really appreciate Focus Africa who really journeyed with us for very, very many years and have continued to journey with us. From the clinic, last year we had a big fundraiser to equip a modern um, kitchen for, our, for hospitality students and it's become a game changer for our students in terms of opportunities for them. Uh, you know, the quality of training that we're offering them, you know. And we want to thank you, Focus Africa, again, for coming alongside us this year and partnering with us to prepare ourselves for the CBC curriculum, whereby we are going to be able to upgrade the quality of education we are offering to our children. And as by extent, we're going to transform this community.